This video covers some of the basic steps for installing the Graco Smart Seat All-in-One Car Seat, featuring safety surround side impact protection. We'll go over how to install the seat both rear and forward facing with latch and with your vehicle seat belt. Before installing your seat, please always refer to the car seat manual and your vehicle's manual for complete instructions and information. You can use the smart seat rear facing in a harness with the base from 4 to 40 pounds, forward facing in a harness using the base from 20 to 65 pounds, and forward facing as a belt positioning booster without the smart base from 30 to 100 pounds. The beauty of the base is that you can install it once and then switch the position of the seat from rear to forward facing without uninstalling the car seat. Let's learn how. To install the smart seat base using latch or lower anchors and tether for children, please ensure your vehicle is equipped with latch lower anchor points, which may be visible at the vehicle seat crease. If they're not visible, they may be marked with a car seat symbol or a red dot. Consult your vehicle owner's manual and car seat instruction manual for latch usage and weight guidelines. First, make sure that your vehicle is on level ground and remove the latch from the storage area. To make installation easier, extend the latch to its maximum length. Place the car seat base so that the back of it is resting against the back of your vehicle's back seat. Make sure that the latch is routed through the vehicle and latch belt path normally used for the vehicle seat belt. The belt must lay flat and not be twisted. Now, hook the connectors to the vehicle's lower anchors, which are found in the crease of the vehicle seat. Pull firmly on the connectors to be sure that they are attached. Never put two connectors on one vehicle latch anchor. Next, with the base flat on the vehicle seat, slide it back until the top of the base contacts the seat back. Make sure that the base bottom remains flat on the seat. Tighten the latch by pushing down hard on the center of the base and pull the free end of the adjustment belt. To test that the base is securely installed, try to move it back and forth and side to side. A properly installed seat base should not move more than one inch in any direction. If the belt loosens or lengthens, repeat the installation process until it's secure. Now the base is ready to accept the smart seat, either rear or forward facing. To install the seat rear facing on the already installed base, place the car seat on the base facing the back of the vehicle. Now rotate the knobs on both sides of the car seat to lock it into the base. You'll see the lock symbol in the windows on the side of the base, so there's no guesswork. If you see the red flags in the car seat seating area and the unlock symbol on the side of the car seat base, the seat is not secured. In addition, when used in rear-facing position, the level indicator bubble must be fully between the two lines. Now, check to see if the car seat and the car seat base are secure by attempting to move it side to side and back and forth. It should not move more than one inch in any direction. If it does, repeat the installation and tightening procedure until you cannot move the seat and base. The rear-facing position is designed for a child from 4 to 40 pounds. Place your child in the car seat with the harness straps over the child's shoulders. Squeeze and pull up on the red head support adjustment handle to adjust the harness height so that the shoulder straps are below the child's shoulders. Your child's head should be at least one inch below the top of the head support. Connect the buckle and the harness clip. Tighten the harness so that it's snug. Then adjust the chest clip so that it's at your child's armpit level. You should not be able to pinch the harness if it's snug. Place the car seat base so that the back of it is resting against the back of your vehicle's back seat. When using the vehicle seat belt, the belt lock-off is always used to secure the lap belt or both belts of the lap shoulder belt. Open the lock-off and route the vehicle belt through the belt path and over the lock-off. Next, buckle the seat belt and pull up on the shoulder belt while pushing down on the base to tighten it. Firmly close the lock off. Now you'll want to test the base for secure installation. Do this by trying to move the base back and forth and side to side at the belt path. The base shouldn't be able to move more than one inch in any direction. 
If it does move, repeat the installation and tightening procedure until you're not able to move it more than one inch. Now the base is ready to accept the smart seat, either rear or forward facing. To install the seat rear facing on the already installed base, place the car seat on the base facing the back of the vehicle. Now rotate the knobs on both sides of the car seat to lock it into the base. You'll see the lock symbol in the windows on the side of the base, so there's no guesswork. If you see the red flags in the car seat seating area and the unlock symbol on the side of the car seat base, the seat is not secured. In addition, when used in rear-facing position, the level indicator bubble must be fully between the two lines. Now, check to see if the car seat and the car seat base are secure by attempting to move it side to side and back and forth. It should not move more than one inch in any direction. If it does, repeat the installation and tightening procedure until you cannot move the seat and base. The rear-facing position is designed for a child from 4 to 40 pounds. Place your child in the car seat with the harness straps over the child's shoulders. Squeeze and pull up on the red head support adjustment handle to adjust the harness height so that the shoulder straps are below the child's shoulders. Your child's head should be at least one inch below the top of the head support. Connect the buckle and the harness clip. Tighten the harness so that it's snug. Then adjust the chest clip so that it's at your child's armpit level. You should not be able to pinch the harness if it's snug. To install the car seat in the forward-facing position with the base, place the car seat on the base facing forward. Now rotate the knobs on both sides of the car seat to lock it into the base. You'll see the lock symbol in the windows on the side of the base, so there's no guesswork. If you see the red flags in the car seat seating area and the unlock symbol on the side of the car seat base, the seat is not secured. Now check to see if the car seat and the car seat base are secure by attempting to move it side to side and back and forth. It should not move more than one inch in any direction. If it does, repeat the installation and tightening procedure until you cannot move the seat and base. If your vehicle is equipped with a top tether anchor, secure the tether to the vehicle tether anchor. To do this, check that the tether is securely attached to the car seat and fasten the tether clip to the anchor point on the vehicle. Tighten the adjustment belt to remove any slack. The forward-facing harnessed position is for children who are between 20 and 65 pounds. Place your child in the car seat. Squeeze and pull up on the red head support adjustment handle to adjust the harness height so that the shoulder straps are just above the child's shoulders. Connect the buckle and the harness clip. Tighten the harness so that it's snug. Then adjust the chest clip so that it's at your child's armpit level. You should not be able to pinch the harness if it's snug. When your child is ready to use the smart seat in booster mode, they should be between 30 and 100 pounds and 38 to 57 inches tall. You must remove the base from the vehicle. Before installing the booster, you need to store the harness using these simple steps. Push the clip at the end of the crotch strap through the bottom of the seat and pull it out through the seat and seat cover. Rotate the bottom of the head support pad up. Now disconnect the snaps on the seat cover and move the harness straps behind the seat cover. Next, open the door behind the seat cover and insert the harness and buckle into the harness storage compartment. Close the door and reattach the snaps on the car seat cover. Place the booster seat firmly against the back of a forward-facing rear vehicle seat equipped with a lap and shoulder belt only. Place your child in the booster seat with the child's back flat against the back of the booster. Position the lap shoulder belt through the shoulder belt guide, not underneath. Fasten the buckle and pull up on the shoulder belt to tighten. Be sure the lap portion of the belt goes under the armrests. If the shoulder belt lies across the child's head, neck, or face, redirect the shoulder belt over the shoulder by adjusting the head support height. To provide the most secure installation of the smart seat car seat, read the vehicle owner's manual regarding child restraint installation and seat belt use with child restraint. Follow all instruction labels on the vehicle seat belt and child restraint. 
If the child restraint is not held securely after following instructions in the instruction manual, vehicle seat belt labels, and vehicle owner's manual, move child restraint to another seating location and try again. Or you can visit the seatcheck.org website to find a child car seat inspection station nearest you.